Hey everyone, Michael here with another video. So today we're gonna to kick off our CEREC series. So we're gonna first be going through our administration tab of how we get these scanners turned on, how we set them up, and then how we make sure that we've selected the correct material and everything like that to be able to start our acquisition phase. Now this process is the same for both CEREC Connect, but then also our in-house milling uh, for all the machines behind me. And so uh, with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so to start off with, we've got two separate CEREC uh, softwares that we can open up. We have CEREC Connect and then our CEREC milling software. So you have to make sure that you're selecting the correct software to begin with. Otherwise, um, it gets very difficult to switch the files between them. So just to review, CEREC Connect is going to be for cases that we scan here and we send off to the lab for the design and fabrication of our crown or bridge. And then our uh, milling software is what we would use to be milling these in-house. So today, the workflow for all of them is the same. Um, connect, you go all the way up through defining your margin. So you'll scan, define your margin, and then send it off to the lab. Um, but today we're gonna be going through and doing it with our milling software here to mill it uh, in-house over in our lab. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our software here uh, for our milling it in-house. Now, the very important thing is that we have to make sure that we're selecting a few things correctly from the beginning. First off, we need to make sure that we're selecting the correct material. Um, we have a bunch of different materials to choose from here. Today, we're going to be using our chair side zirconia block. Uh, and primarily what we're milling here as of now, as of July in 2024, we're milling primarily Emacs, uh, so lithium disilicate. And then we're also milling zirconia, but specifically chair-side zirconia. Now you'll see here in the software that there's a lot of different options for zirconia, and it's really important that we select the correct one, in this case, chair-side zirconia. Otherwise, it will not mill properly and we'll have a lot of issues to begin with. So now that it's up and running right over here, we're gonna go ahead and add a new patient. I'm gonna do my name here. We're gonna click add case. One of the things to note is that you can add your, yourself as the dentist. Uh, one of the things to note with when adding yourself as a dentist is it will categorize the cases and sort them by the dentist. So if you're using the same machine multiple times because these files are not shared from machine to machine, you need to make sure that you're selecting, you're writing your, your name down in the exact same way. So if the capitalization is different, if the period is different, if the space is different, it will all be categorized under a different uh, name within this and makes the data management a little bit more difficult. So I always just do my initials in lowercase just for continuity's sake. And you can add the patient ID or date of birth if you would like, um, or you also should select not putting your last name twice. So we'll fix that. And then we're just gonna click add case down here at the bottom. So now the administration tab pops up. So there's a few things that we need to select. Um, first off, we need to make sure that we select the correct tooth. So in this case right here, uh, we've got tooth number 19. So I'm going to select tooth number 19 right here. And then this will pop up a bunch of different options. So on the left side, you can see that we have a lot of design modes. Uh, what we're going to be doing 99.9% .9 of the time is biogeneric individual. Uh, we can do biogeneric copy if we wanted to, let's just say, replicate exactly what the tooth was uh, before we scanned it. That gives us that ability. But most of the time for what we're seeing is that we're not copying the exact shape of the tooth and the exact anatomy. So we're going to choose biogeneric individual. And then up here in the top left, you can see that it's selected tooth number 19. And we're going to click on the little edit tool right here. So we're gonna choose the correct material, in which case we already have here, but it's going to be under 3M, which you can just see on the block right here that this is from 3M. So select 3M and then chair side zirconia milling. If we were gonna be doing Emacs, what we would do is we would click on Ivoclar uh, Vivident and then choose Emacs CAD grinding. Now, what's really confusing about this is that Emacs is both a brand and a material. So there is Emacs that is looking very silicate and there's Emacs that is also zirconia. So you need to make sure that if you see any of these that are Zircad, that's actually zirconia, even though it does say Emacs. So if we're doing Emacs, which we're doing a lot more of here at the school, uh, make sure you select IPS Emacs CAD 
um, at the top. Otherwise, it will not work correctly because it's trying to mill in zirconia rather than uh, lithium disilicate. So we have three M chairside zirconia selected, uh, and then we're also going to be choosing the device. So uh, our milling units, we've got eight of them in there. Not every milling unit is connected to each um, scanning unit downstairs, um, but the important ones is that uh, milling unit two and milling unit three are only for zirconia because those require different burrs than Emacs. All of the other ones are um, okay to use for Emacs as well. I would recommend using either one or number eight for Emacs, and like I said, two or three for zirconia. Sometimes you can see it like is on here is that we actually have it renamed in here, adding a ZR for zirconia, just to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, I'll be honest, not, not all of them have that selected, but again, we're gonna select either two or three for today. So let's just stick with number three right now. So we made the correct changes. We're gonna hit apply. And again, just always double check in this top right to make sure everything's correctly selected because if it is not, then we will run into issues later. So now that the administration tab is done, we're ready to move on to our acquisition phase. All right, thank you so much for watching our video on the administration tab within CEREC. Uh, again, like I said before, this will be the same for both CEREC Connect and then also for Million in-house. And so I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video on the acquisition phase.